Uh, good evening, everybody. This is uh, Dr. Simplicity uh, Treaty, and I'm bringing uh, the video of our third trade in our series. Um, so if you haven't um, had a look at the very first video, you need to have a look at it to see what we are all about. Uh, but before we go any further, let's see what we're all about. Let me ex try and explain it very briefly in um, uh, this uh, short um, presentation here. So the purpose of my channel is to find out if futures or forex trading is profitable over time if a structured approach is applied repeatedly and consistently. I intend to document a number of trades over the next 12 months using a dummy account. So far, we've had uh, two trades, so this is a third month, really. Um, so I will also like to know the following about trading. Is it really possible to trade in my spare time? What sort of return on investment is possible? Does it compare with traditional investments? Do I have to be glued to my computer in order to trade successfully? Can I replace my day job uh, income by trading? Must I trade every day in order to be successful? Must I trade several instruments in order to be successful? Do I have to learn to use all sorts of charting indicators uh, in order to be successful? And uh, for each trade, I will show you the trade setup in real time before the orders are triggered and um, uh, the final outcome after the trade um, or after the orders have been triggered and it's been concluded. Uh, for each setup, for each trade setup, there can only be one of three outcomes. Either the orders are triggered and the trade is stopped at for a loss, which happened in our uh, two first trades, by the way. Um, I will show you that uh, in a moment. Um, secondly, either or, uh, orders are triggered and Trade closes for a profit. Orders are triggered, or no, sorry, orders are not triggered by the good till date period and deleted. The strategy I'll be documenting is based around trading of the non farm employment change news released by the US every month, usually on the first or second Friday of each month. Uh, so hopefully I'll have a trade to execute every month. If you like the sound of it, spread the news. Come and follow me on this journey. And don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe for updates. Um, let's spend a moment to read the disclaimer. So if you look at the very, very last uh, paragraph there, um, or persons who choose to acquire or use any of Dr. Simplicity trading book manual or videos do so at their own risk. They are encouraged to discuss with an appropriately licensed financial market advisor regarding the suitability of trading or of any particular trading strategy. Um, also, this is a must read. Uh, again, uh, look at that very briefly. And again, on the last paragraph, uh, uh, where it says that the simplicity trading does not claim to be a financial expert, nor claim to be an expert in features of forex trading. This presentation is published as a personal exercise and should not be relied upon for purposes of trading the markets. Okay, let's get back to our third uh, trade setup and see what it looks like. Let me bring the chart up. Great. Um, uh, so here is a setup. Um, the non farm news was on yesterday, Friday, the um, 7th of July, uh, was when the non farm news was released again in the US. And I think we have a trade setup, which is uh, what you are looking at on this chart. Um, and so it's all set up there for you. Uh, like I said, our previous two trades were not quite successful as indicated by on, sorry, on this um, uh, trade record sheet we have. The first one we had in May, we started this exercise in May. Uh, we took a loss of 5% of the starting capital. Our starting capital was um, 10,000 um, sterling. Uh, please don't forget it's all domain account. Um, 
and uh, our intention is to trade five percent of the starting capital at any time. So we take a loss of four nine nine point eight four. The first trade and another loss of 475 on the starting capital for the second month in June. So we're now in July and our starting capital, uh, based on the losses we've taken so far, our starting capital is uh, there at the bottom 9025. So, and that is. Uh, why we have it all up here. 9025 is our starting capital. As you can see there, 9025 is our starting capital. Okay, so here's the trade setup, like I said. Um, our entry line is uh, on this white line here. Okay, it's gonna be a buy on this occasion. And we wanna go in at uh, 1.2757. Um, the stop loss will be determined to be at a minus. Um, let me clear this so you can see. So stop loss we determined it to be at minus twenty, which means it's going to be at this red line here. Okay, that is our stop loss, one point two seven three seven, and our our profit target is for thirty points. It's going to be at this yellow. Uh, line 1.2787 and our order our trade order is good until 22nd of july if the order is not triggered we intend to um, delete this order and um, um, assume we have no trade anymore for this month um so what you see um okay so again here is a summary um Starting capital is 9025. The trade zone itself is 15 points. By the time we add a wiggle space, we're going to be taking a loss if that's what happens at minus 20 or a profit of um, 30 points. Uh, put in sterling uh, value um, of 5% of the capital of the starting capital works out at um, 451 sterling. And um, 22.55 um, sterling par point and our profit target um, will be 30 points if we multiply that by 22.55 in case it goes in that way um, we intend to make um, a profit of uh, 676.5 and the risk to reward ratio is 1 to 1.5 let's clear that up so the risk to reward ratio is 1 to 1 1.5 um, so here is where the market is at as of uh, close of market yesterday, uh, the 7th of July, Friday. So uh, our expectation or rather what we want to happen is to see market track down to the buy zone there. Okay. And hopefully go up to profit to hit the um, yellow line, which is there for profit. If it doesn't go our way, then the market will simply track, you know, um, lower still and hit our, our stop line uh, for another loss. So we're hoping this third uh, trade will uh, be positive. We don't know. It's unpredictable. All we know is that there can only be three outcomes when we uh, take trades. Either we uh, take a loss or we uh, make some profit or we uh, delete the order if it doesn't trigger by our good chill date of uh, 22nd of uh, July 2023 and I think that's about it that's about wraps it up um, all we have to do now is to wait uh, when market opens again on Sunday uh, at uh, 11 p.m. UK time uh, to see what happens and see how this um, setup will play out. Only time will tell. Thank you for uh, listening, and I shall be updating you again, hopefully, um, at some point, and definitely um, by the 22nd of um, July, if not before. 
Thank you uh, for listening. Have a fantastic evening. Do not forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's Dr. Simplicity. Sign off for now. And bye.